start, you know, racing to their spots and whatnot? Um, we just we tried to communicate and we tried to be more the more physical team. Um, before the actions, during the actions, after the actions. Um, a team like that with so many guys that are smart and veterans and guys that have played at such a high level, um, if you give them stuff like that, it's hard to win. And we knew we had to turn that off a little bit um, in the second half if we want to come out here with a W, and that was an emphasis for us. You've hit a ton of tough shots this year, big shots. Um, that, just that, that, that late three you had in the fourth, just what was going through your head when, when you hit that and just as the those final minutes were unfolding? Um, a little bit of a relief. Um, didn't really have my three ball tonight. Um, but I, it's a shot that I've shot plenty of times, comfortable shooting, um, an opportunity for it opened up, and I wanted to be aggressive and shoot it with confidence. Yes, yeah, Shay. Eric Spolstra said he thought they lost the game on the backboards. You guys got a bunch of key offensive rebounds, turned them into points. How? Uh, what, what kind of an edge does that give you on a night when your shot's not going in, mm-hmm. but you can still score with some offensive rebounds? Yeah, um, it it helps you win games. Um, the more possessions, the more opportunities to score, and then ultimately um, you score more, you win. That's something that we – we kind of emphasize every 10 games or so, we check in on how we're doing offensive rebounding wise. Um, and it's something that we kind of want to turn up a little bit, especially towards the end of the season. And when the game slows down, um, extra possessions are very key. Shay, over the last year, you mentioned guys like Jordan and Kobe about it took them a little bit wh- of a while to understand they need to trust their teammates and get everybody involved to really win at a high level. You've seemingly learned that super, super early. Is that something that just like came up grassroots style, or is that something like? in college towards the NBA that you really had to learn? Yeah, it's how I was taught to play the game. Um, when you you need all five guys to win um, at the end of the night, defensively and offensively, um, and when you build their confidence and their trust, when, the, when there's games when you're going to need them, and when you need them, they, they deliver. You said you didn't have your three balls tonight. You did take seven. You didn't take seven once last year. You've done that a few times this year. What? Is there a, an emphasis there this season on just diversifying your game, or you know, where's the the attempts specifically come from? Um, I don't know. I think it's something that, like, when I go out there, I try not to worry about what I'm trying to accomplish or anything. I just like play off a of feel. Um, now I worked on it a lot in the summertime. Um, at the end of last year, I knew my attempts were on the lower end, and I figured it'd help if I got them up a little bit. But I think it's just me. Out there, shooting was comfortable, uh, and, and it, yeah, that, I think that's the result of it. It's not like I, I come into the game or I came into the season like I want to shoot more threes. It's just me doing what I, I've done all summer. And then your like your team camaraderie seems to be really good. A lot of that seems to come from J Dub. Is that accurate? Like behind the scenes, and then like what specifically does he mean to your team? You know, more in the locker room behind the scenes. Yeah, it's across the board for sure. Um, I can say every guy in the locker room gets along with each other. Um, love being around each other, um, but yeah, J Dub is definitely uh, one of the bigger personalities in the locker room, and he uh, is kind of the glue guy for all that stuff for sure. Yeah, Shane, what all does it take to become a, a really tough shot maker? Like it seems like the degree of difficulty on your shots has risen even throughout this this year, and then from last year to this year is even more. Like just like is it? How do you replicate that when you're working out? Um, I don't really, to me, it's not really, like when it comes down to it, it's not really a big shot. It's just another shot. Um, and most of the times there's shots that I've shot in millions of times, so I'm confident shooting them. And when I think about them, I just think about them as shots. So I either make them or I miss them. Um, and I live with the results, so that's kind of how I go about it. So, it, it, like, I don't ever shoot a shot like, all right, this one has a little bit more weight on it, so I hope it goes in. Nah, I just shoot the ball how I've shot it my whole life. And then 47 30-point games that now ties Kevin Durant for the most in Thunder history. Um, approaching history with when you hit 50 um, in a few games, more than likely. Do you ever, <laughs> do you ever get the time to even just think about how special of a season you're having or do you not even think that far ahead or do you just like because it truly is a special season yeah I don't think that far ahead at all um 
season so far from being done. Uh, so much more work to do. So much more getting better that I can do personally and my team can do. Um, we have super high goals. Um, and yeah, we just know that there's so much more left. Um, and we don't feel like we've really accomplished anything. So I, I don't even think that far ahead to answer your question. Thank you, Shay.